Will gangsta rap be turned away from the strip and local campuses? It's been a talker, and tonight we have some answers. The hip-hop culture has been blamed for recent violence, including the death of a Metro officer, but local rappers say they're being singled out. Fox 5's Ann Lim has more. Rapper D1 knows what it's like to be scrutinized for something he feels passionate about. Definitely hurt. Because, you know, we're here to entertain, put music out. He was friends with Amir Crump, the aspiring rap artist who shot and killed Sergeant Henry Prendez. D1 believes that attack sparked the fire aimed at the hip-hop culture. So just because he was a rapper, there was a lot of tension drawn to that factor, and now all of a sudden, you know, we're, we're looking for corrective measures. Chair Phil Young called for a ban on gangster rap acts at casinos, saying these events are serious threats to the community. But gaming board member Mark Clayton says it's unfair to single out one form of entertainment. Obviously, it's something that's an area that we're not even interested in addressing. There's First Amendment concerns, et cetera. We are looking only as to the conduct that's occurring in the clubs. Hip hop for me was more than just the music, it was a lifestyle. This panel today at UNLV so defends hip hop. Troy Nurkma says there are bigger problems to deal with. If you want to talk about the reasons for violence, we can find a whole lot of other reasons. We could talk about alcohol, but they won't ban alcohol in Nevada. Back at the studio, rappers continue to pursue their dreams in spite of the flack and fury. That was Ann Lamb reporting for us tonight. You should know the Board of Regents will discuss the rap ban on campuses at next month's meeting. We will definitely keep you posted.